Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Derry and today I'm doing my long awaited how I make my sims in this sim style. If I sound like I hate myself or if I sound like very unexcited, it's because I'm currently sick right now. But I really wanted to make this video for you guys. So I hope I can explain everything properly. So real quick, let me talk about the origin of this sim style because I think a lot of people have it mixed up. This sim style is inspired by Bratz, Monster High, After After High. Like i grew up on all of those shows and those shows taught me like fashion beauty power like i just want my sims to embody that too i get hate on the style quite a lot but no one bats an eye when it's brats ever after high and all of those other shows that do it but when someone does it in the sims it's a problem but i don't care i love my sims so i'm gonna link everything as always on my patreon and including the sliders i use okay to start off this style i like to go with the eyes first the eyes kind of like shape everything together and of course the eyes have to be absolutely humongous so i like to use miko's eyes she has five sets and i love these ones a lot before using miko i used to use stretch skeleton stretch skeleton had some really nice eyes i used this one this one's called cherry and sorry for the lag my eye section always lags for this sim in particular we are going to use miko's and i always make my sims cross side of obscure sims slider and then i drag the eyes inward a little bit we'll do about this much and i set my eyes to like the very oh her eyebrows change anyways i set the eyes to like the very first section because we're gonna change them later and i just tweak it a little bit make them a little bigger and space them out now with the face i like to go for a pointed chin with this style so you can do whatever you want or whatever you feel like but i like to point it a little bit and just mess with the jaw and the face to your liking the sim already had a nice face structure so i'm probably not gonna mess with it too much for the nose it doesn't really matter because the style is all about the eyes but i like to go for whatever i think matches so i think this looks pretty good i use these noses this is by coco bowls and i use these ones quite a lot so if like my sims look the same yeah i know trust me i know i put this photo up i put this photo up and I jump them because I don't care. I don't care. And I don't care. Like, it's my Sims. So I think I'm going to go for this nose. I think I already used this on a Sim. This is by Aneta. Aneta? Okay, it's by Arneta. And she makes the cutest nose presets and lip presets. So definitely check them out. Now for lips, same thing. You can do whatever your heart desires. I usually give my Sims super big lips. But lately, I've been sticking to average lips. And I just go around and I click a bunch that I feel like fit the Sim. Oh, that one's cute. I might do this one. And I always make my Sims sad i give them a neutral facial expression i don't like it when they're happy and now i'm just kind of like tweaking it a little bit i think i'm gonna make them a little smaller and drag that down yeah i think that is a pretty good base for me i'm gonna remove her ears with this it's by redhead sims it's an ear remover because i like to add to add ears if that makes sense well you'll see you'll see so for skin detailing we're about to get into that but i like to choose eyebrows and these eyebrows by peachy fairy will always be used on these sims i don't know why i just like it actually i think we're gonna go up and change a couple of things before i start okay so now this is what we are working with so i like to skin detail first i like to use something that's more maxis but it changes every day so i really like using tinsel occasionally on these sims but lately i've been using this one by nesri i think tinsel i'm leaning towards tinsel more and then i go all the way down i like to use where is it no shader it's the first one shades the outside of the nose and then i go up this nose mask remissurion i believe that's how you pronounce it and i'm not really liking this nose mask so i go i like hop around and i see which nose mask i want to use on the sim so i might use this nose this is also by obscure sims i believe and sometimes i go back and forth i go to face paint and i add in my eyes or by sims 3 melahonic number 79 i just like it when my sims don't have pupils i don't know 
white i don't want a too dark brown but i don't want a light brown either i think we're gonna choose this color and then i go back into the skin detail and i kind of finish up you can probably give her some blush this is the Moo blush by squee face shading and i usually like this one the second to last one but i've been leaning toward this one or I think it's this one at the very end. I think we're gonna use the second to last one to give her some cheek definition. And then I might come back to skin detail. I might not. It's time to choose a hair. And I'm not sure. I just skip around, you know, choose what you wanna choose or choose what you think will fit the sim. Oh, this was really cute. That's cute. We might come back for that one. Oh, this is also cute. I like to just hop around. We might use this hair. I just downloaded it so sometimes i run into this problem where the hairs include dye and the dyes are in the face paint section which sucks so usually to combat this i just choose eyes over here i think it's in the eye scar section and these are solar sailor by softer haze and these are like my next best eyes that i like to use i don't know everything is always like subject to change like i'll do eyes or a hair and then when i'm close to being finished i'll probably change it to something completely different okay so yeah i added these ears and now i think i'm definitely going to change her hair oh this is very cute i love that like the hair is like tucked behind her ears that's cute i don't think i've ever used this hair before we might keep it actually okay and now i'm back in skin details to give her a hairline maybe i think we'll give her this one i feel like it adds more details to her face i'm going to go into the eye to into the glasses right and choose lashes so i really been liking these obscure sims lashes i think we're gonna use these lashes i like how big and fluffy they look and then i go into cheeks and cheeks is where i add face shine so there's a couple different face shines these are all by sims 3 melahonic i like to use this one the most i actually don't know the numbering but i'll oh it says 14 and then there's this one right here that i use on a lot of my sims but i think we're gonna go with 14 yeah, i'm gonna tone it down a little bit like around here i really like how that looks and then for eyes i really like to do fun makeup it's glitching slightly but honestly sometimes you just have to ignore it and go with the flow i just tweaked her eyes a little bit i'm gonna tweak her head a wee bit and make it a little bit more narrow and i don't know if i want to keep this eyeliner i feel like the ears do enough we might just give her basic eyeliner so i'm using this one by Bo Apples Me. This is CC34 and i love their liners they make really great liners if i'm not doing anything extravagant i like to add these this is by grim cookies and it's like inner corner highlight i think it's so cute like it looks good i love her already and for lips i'm going to be using these it's called gravity by remissurion make a lot of good lipsticks i really like how this adds color to her face i think we're gonna stick with this and yeah this is how i do this exact sim style i can't believe it's been a year since i've been doing sims like this kind of crazy and i finished her up this is her outfit i think it's pretty cute i think she's really cute as well and i'll put her for download for anyone who wants to play with her anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you understand my sim style a lot more and if you do recreate it please tag me so i can see don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye